Everybody, it's your boy here to give you guys a review for Love of Hip Hop Hollywood. No, no, Love of Hip Hop New York, but it's just called Hip Hop Love of Hip Hop. This is what season eight, episode one. All right, so <clears throat> if y'all can't tell, I sort of kind of just woke up and doing this review, so it's what it's uh eight eighteen in the morning, so yeah, it's probably like two, three, maybe one o'clock in the States. All right, so starts off with uh, Remy. I can't even. Oh my gosh, I cannot even read my. Dear. <laughs> I can't read my hand right. But like, well, like I said, she's on top right now, talking about how you know you have females that when they get to a certain level, they don't want to work with each other, this, that, and third. But she feels that you know that needs to happen. So they show a little uh, concert that she had in the summer, and then she has like a little networking. Um, event going on which I guess this is what we need to usher in the majority of the fucking you know cast new and old so you got Juju with Bianca and Juju brings up how Bianca drugged this girl named Brie we'll get to that later then we got Snoop talking with Self and Papoose uh, and apparently Self is um, now he's managing somebody else I guess it's going to be his thing every season. Imagine a brand new person. This person happens to be Dream Doll. And walk Safari. Safari uh, pretty much says that, you know, he wants something real because he couldn't get that in, uh, you know, L.A. <clears throat> so we have Yandy. She joins Remy and Juju and mentions how Little Man D.C. has not been able to see his father. And... You also had Yanni talking about how last season she was in with the baby mama drama. So I guess we can assume that Little Mendici's mother isn't letting Little Mendici be around Yanni. Hence what actually no, no, I even think that I think her name was Erica. I think she even said that he wasn't going to see his father in prison. So never mind. There we go. Let me see what else. <clears throat> Mendici called, she curves him. Uh, Remy didn't like that and apparently she has a studio and what is it like a production like a production student I think even like a recording studio in Atlanta uh, Rich says he was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes uh, last October he's trying to uh, take care of himself and he says he's going to stop creeping and get back to the music I didn't believe that shit when I, I even when he said it on the preview, I'm just like, nigga, you stop, you lying, so lying. What else? So now we have this girl named Angelise, and this cat named Navarro. So Angelise is a singer. When I saw her on stage with the blonde hair, she remind re reminded me of Johnny Blaze. Then we should the whole tongue out thing reminded me of Cardi B. Kind of, I can kind of see maybe like a merger there in terms of personality. She sings in both, I believe, Espanol and English, this, that, and third. You know, she can do it all, I guess. She's married to a guy named Ruben. He's much older. Uh, Navarro appears to have a slight interest in her, but he's with a girl named Ashley. I don't know why they brought him up because it seems, well, it's not any scenes. We know that. Uh, Anais. I swear I'm going to figure her name out how to truly say it. She's going to be linking up with Rich later on in the fucking season. So, what the fuck ever. Um, you got Rich and Webstar. The only reason that Webstar is there is, you know, truly Usher and Bree, who he wants uh, Rich to start managing. And the whole thing with um, Bree and Bianca is, I guess, a while back they got into it. And it just is what it is. They've been having a huge for some fucking years. I ain't finna say and get into all the fuck, all the fuck shit. And it's probably gonna be a show review because I mean, it really ain't a whole lot going on. But apparently, uh, she says Brie that Bianca stole her style of her music. So now we got. I mean, DC and he calls her because he's well. She's on the phone, take care of business, hangs up, talks to him. She's like, well, what it is? He's like, don't worry about it. I already had moms take care of it, but she, she doesn't like that because now moms is involved. And here's the thing. It's a good chance I'm probably not going to talk about Yandy much this season because I didn't want to talk about her last season and her fucking antics. You feel what I'm saying? And part of me feels that this storyline between Herman DC and Mama Judy, partially some of this is put on. Partially. I believe th this is partially put on, which means it's put on. 
Um, but he said mama dealt with it and you know he even seen pictures on IG, bikini, this, that, and the third. I don't fucking care. But he mad about that. Moving on, Safari meets with his um his uh, mother and sisters. He pretty much said that he wants something real. His mama gave him a line saying the type of what, what did she say? The woman you lay with is who you become. I was like, well, damn, that wasn't the word. I don't know what it is. Moving forward, Remy got her BET award. Her poos is saying that she's taking on too much. And then they're going back to this whole baby thing in terms of a storyline, which I understand that he wants a kid. I feel on shit. I'm fucking 30 years old, be 31. Well, shit. <laughs> well, it's the 31st right now. So in a month and, you know, a couple fucking days. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to be 31, so I, I feel him on that fucking clock and shit's ticking. But in the situation that he's in, he's being partial, again, storyline. But he's being selfish because of the complications that she had last time. Why not just get a fucking surrogate? Just saying. It's a fucking thought. Because he wants to do IVF, but he could still do a surrogate. So, I'm probably going to skip over their storylines quite a bit. Um, Rich and Bree. So, Bree, I think, had a performance that night or whatever. Bianca shows up, talks to Rich, and she pretty much said walking in to us that she has a uh, distribution deal for a single. So, she about, you know, taking care of business. So, Bree comes back from the bathroom. Those two see each other. And they get to arguing back and forth. And I think that Bianca either threw water or a shoe or whatever and then tries to run through security and charge at us saying I'm always get you first stupid and all this other stuff and all I'm going to say is this if you are trying to secure a distribution deal I got you got beef with a motherfucker but you really finna sit here and I got it you, you could be pissed with people but when, it, when it's about your bottom line your bottom line has to be like right here but she needs a storyline this season, so we go from sitting here fucking around with another. You know what? I ain't finna do it. I ain't finna do it. Bianca just making herself look foolish as fuck. And then we end with Yandy with this boy named Grab. So he's on the music shoe. Uh, she's putting baby oil on him because he happens to be ashy, which I'm like, so, okay, Simone, we fucking up here. Because apparently Fizz got that good lotion. She, she, she couldn't use some good lotion and, you know, kind of do that or better yet you got safari on here now she couldn't use some safari coconut oil to oil them down i'm just saying good promotion i'm just saying but again in love hip hop fashion how convenient mama judy walks in while he's being rubbed down now here's the thing i don't know this could be one of those where mona is willing to sacrifice her friendship with yan to sit here and put ass on front street, which is what could be happening but just the way this whole thing played out i don't I don't think that is real because she's trying to attack the young man and then she gets mad when he's like okay well can we get back to this because this session is paid for this that and the third mama judy's flipping out yeah any time about some you know don't go back and tell my husband da, da, da. and that's it so that's all i got like i said it's the very first fucking episode so i'm about to go ahead upload this and watch whoever got theirs out um and so let y'all know, <laughs> even though I'm, I swear, false stars, I'm back, but I'm probably not going to be able to do any videos until just before Thanksgiving because, like I said, my job calls because from Thursday, what, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I have to be trained on how to do this particular initial part of the job. And either Sunday or Monday, I'm going to be in the woods until this shit is over, which is from what I'm understanding, like right before Thanksgiving, which means that when I get back, I'll let y'all know and I'll let you know about y'all seeing a whole lot of videos pop up, which should be uh, Households of Atlanta, If Married to Medicine, Come Back That, and then Love Hip Hop. So that's all I got. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you later. Peace.